welcome guys so today we will come with a new uh, project that is a uh, send data from mit app in vendor to the google sheet actually uh, uh, google sheet uh, we can use as a database so if we know the technique then lots of things will be easier to us so if we store the data in a google sheet if we read the data from a google sheet then we can develop a login system also so step by step we will learn so for that the first thing uh, we have to create a new project and i name it send underscore google sheet okay so when we said that project uh, obviously the new scheme will come and it come so at the designing portion uh, we take a vertical arrangement over there and uh, we set the height fill parent and set the width of fill parent and uh, now in between that we have to use some user interface so that is a uh, text box and uh, one thing uh, we have to do to look better that is vertical arrangement where the align not left uh, we set it from center we set it from center now uh, for that first uh, text box uh, we rename it uh, name because we take a name as a input and uh, we design something little bit like a that field should be a 24 uh, and uh, in hints uh, it show name and uh, the width um, you can set it 50% something bigger something good and the height you can set it 10% uh, so something bigger uh, and another bigger will not be a bad idea so we go for 70 70% of less problem so now we take another text box to take the phone number so rename it rename it phone and set the same thing 24 and uh, with with 70% as the previous we set and uh, height 10% so and in the hint section it should uh, show phone number phone so uh, the two text box we set now we take a button and rename it with a send send and it should show text send okay now there is a vertical arrangement the background should be light gray and that send button the background should be dark gray and the text uh, 24 itself and the color uh, if it is black it is not look, look good so we change it to white we can change the shape also something that will be interesting uh, around it and uh, the width we can set it 50% so it's something bigger see so the almost the simple form design is completed now we go for the block uh, no another thing uh, because we need another connectivity device that is hidden device that is web we take that web first 
see it is a header it is not shown in screen but work from behind now we move to the block and first when we place the send button then what we'll do first it set the url so we take uh, the web one and bring set url to set url to with a blank text now but uh, after some time you will see that url have to be fixed over there and uh, again uh, we have to see the data like a post method so that is why send call web one post text call web one post uh, post text and joining because two field is there so two field have to send together so we have to join this and uh, we have to bring some string also because four field is needed to send the two field data now uh, the first should be name n a m e equals to and uh, the text it got in uh, name text field that should be sent so name text is taken and set and the second thing uh, that should be a phone but uh, in second string should be joined start with a ampersand sign and phone equals to and the value taken from phone text so text will phone whatever value to enter here that value will be sent so almost the block programming is completed now we have to do some additional tasks okay so uh, we have to build a google sheet here i already built and i think i hope you know that how to build a uh, google sheet add the google sheet and naming name and phone see the uh, spelling should be the same because uh, at that uh, software at that mit app inventor i give a name with a small letter n a m e so you have to give here n a m e and phone p is a small letter so it mentioned now another thing is very important uh, here some function uh, we uh, uh, used to call for that you have to go to your open your drive and press this new button and go to the more option and you have to find the google app script if it is not in your uh, your drive then you have to install it like that you have to click that so all the additional things is come you write app script and you will enter see google app script will come and press the install button uh, yeah, because i have installed that so i am not going to install again but if you not find there in a more section then you have to install it then it will automatically come so we finally move to more and go to google app script so new page will be open with a blank function like that give a name send data send data to google google sheet so i name it i rename that so it will shown over here now the function so whatever programming you have to re, uh, write that will you uh, uh, given to my website also and as well as my description of that video also so find it from there uh, see uh, in description you will find like that code dot 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 code and end with the code you have to copy in between that in between that from function to closing bracket copy it and paste it as simple as that and paste it See, it is pasted. Uh, see, uh, 
the two links it needed so the link means that link okay your google sheet link so copy that link and paste it here in between this double invited comma between this double invited comma my name okay and again here also see here uh, the sheet number you have to give uh, i not rename this uh, i uh, by default it remains sheet 1 uh, see here so here the sheet is okay this is the sheet 1 okay now this is the sheet 1 so whatever data we see uh, say that will be save at sheet 1 page now see the parameter what we add add user in a sheet name and phone the same spelling see here you cannot uh, create a capital n and capital p with first you should remember that and you should mind with that now when it is done you just make a save first save the project now go to the deploy new deployment and here select type click on that web app web app and here you have to give a permission not only myself it is for anyone anyone okay and deploy it will take some time see access acts authorized access you have to give that access and give that access go to advance go to sheet and have to give allow so you get the web app url copy it and go to your app and paste it over there and you almost done now you build that uh, your apk and install it and run it off from your mobile so i already build it uh, and now i want to show that how it work now check with the apps and check how it is work see uh, that app is installed to my mobile that send data app i click on that and uh, put the name over here as a name uh, my name shubham is h and here the four numbers Okay. Now, when I press that send button, you have to check this data is coming or not. See, I press that send, and see the data is coming automatically. I change that name now. at instantly it will come so i uh, hope this project help you to make a good uh, one good project in you uh, for your uh, project you can use that in any project and if uh, this video is helpful to you please subscribe my channel and like that video thank you